While Travis Kelsey held the MVP award, the crowd went crazy with cheers, and confetti fell like snowflakes. He had a big smile on his face, but his eyes were looking around the stadium. Taylor Swift was sitting in a VIP box, and her smile was as bright as the diamonds on the prize. Their relationship, which used to make headlines, had become a safe, loving place for them to be. Travis surprised everyone when he got to the stage for his post-game interview. He started with, this win isn't just about the team. His voice was full of shock and emotion. It's about the wonderful woman who always supports me. When the camera moved to Taylor, she kissed him and said, I love you. Taylor, Travis said in a low whisper, your music has captured the world, and it has captured my heart. I've been meaning to ask you something. He took a small satin box out of his pocket. The crowd held their breath. Travis opened the box and showed Taylor a ring that was unlike any other. Taylor's eyes got bigger. It wasn't just a diamond, it was made up of tiny football-shaped pieces of platinum, each with a single brilliant jewel set in it. People in the crowd gasped. An engagement ring with football on it? So Travis, so unexpected, and so amazing in every way. Travis asked Taylor, his voice shaking a little, will you marry me and become Mrs. Kelsey? Tanya's eyes filled with tears. She threw her head back and laughed, making a sound as pure and happy as her music. There was a beat of shocked silence. Yes, Travis. Yes a million times over. The stadium blew up. Travis Kelsey won the title and made plans to be with the love of his life forever on that night. It will go down in history. News sources all over the world went crazy. Worldwide, hashtag Kel says yes became popular. Musicians and sports both used social media to wish the winners luck. The next few months were very busy. Fans speculated on themes, would it be a fairy tale or football themed, and guest lists, would the whole Avengers squad be there? Planning the wedding became a show for the media. Taylor, who is always coming up with new ideas, surprised everyone by adding football references to her otherwise silly wedding dress. There were many famous people at the ceremony, which was full of tears, laughter, and surprise musical acts. Travis even got his friend Gronk to be his best man, which led to some, let's say, unconventional, bachelor party stories that were printed in tabloids. But their love stayed the same through it all. Because Travis always had their back, and Taylor always had ideas to try, they showed that even the strangest couples could find love and happiness. And let's be honest, wouldn't you want a happy ever after with a little ending magic? That story will live on forever. Travis Kelsey didn't really hear the roar of the crowd at Arrowhead Stadium. When he looked up, he saw Taylor Swift sitting in his family's VIP box. She was glowing in a special Chiefs jersey with his number on the back. It had just been his touchdown that won the game, and the crowd was rocking with joy. Travis had a bigger plan, though. He reached into his sock and took out a small plush box. People in the stadium became quiet as they sensed something important. Cameras flashed and caught the shine of metal. While his friends yelled in confusion, Travis jogged towards the VIP box with a determined grin on his face. The security guards tried to stop him, but Patrick Mahomes, always ready to help, smiled and waved them off. When Travis got to the box and knelt down in front of Taylor, the crowd went silent. Taylor Allison Swift, he yelled, his voice choked with emotion, you've given me more music than a thousand jukeboxes. You added the, Kelsey, to, celebrate. The crowd laughed, which made things a little less tense. Taylor had tears in her eyes. Travis. She whispered as she held his hand. We've talked about forever, he said in a hoarse voice, and now forever ends. Coach, I want to catch more than just scores. I want to catch our dreams as a team. Are you going to be my teammate for life? He asked as he fumbled with the box and finally opened it to show a beautiful diamond ring. There was a long pause. Following this, Taylor laughed very loudly, tears running down her face. She yelled, yes, and wrapped her arms around him. The stadium blew up. A shower of gold and red confetti fell. Their teammates swarmed them and yelled and cheered. Travis put the ring on her finger, and Taylor leaned in and gave her a kiss that would make the internet go crazy. 
Later, at the news conference after the game, there was going to be a frenzy. Travis, who loves to put on a show, held out Taylor's hand so that the ring could be seen. Hey everyone, we're getting married. And I have to say, this is the biggest goal I've ever scored. The internet went crazy. Worldwide, hashtag Swiftles became popular. Social media was full of engagement pictures that mixed football jerseys and long dresses. There was talk of a possible halftime show at the Super Bowl, a song they wrote together, and a joint tour. Travis Kelsey had just shared the most unbelievable news of the year, and everyone was holding their breath for the next part of the most unbelievable love story ever written. The crowd in Kansas City was roaring, but Travis Kelsey's nervous excitement was stronger. People were happy that the Chiefs had won after a tough game, but Travis had a different kind of win in mind. He grabbed the mic and looked around the stands until he saw Taylor Swift, who was smiling in a handmade jersey. As Travis started, there was silence in the crowd. He yelled, tonight's been amazing. His voice was rough from emotion. But there's something even more incredible I gotta share. The crowd was very interested. As the cameras flashed, Taylor's hand flew to her mouth. Travis kept his eyes on Taylor and said, you showed me what it means to be a champion on and off the field. Every day, you make me feel good. And he got down on one knee, a satin box shining in the light. The stadium blew up. Taylor's eyes got teary, and a huge smile spread across her face. Everyone in the world held their breath. Travis wasn't done yet, though. With a sly grin on his face, he said, this ain't just about getting hitched. We're taking things to the next level. When he opened the box, what he saw was not a ring but a microphone that looked just like his. It was clear that the crowd was confused. Travis smiled and said, that's right, everyone. Taylor Swift is joining the tour. People in the seats let out a collective gasp, which then turned into a rumbling sound that shook the stadium to its core. Taylor rushed down to meet Travis on the field, her eyes welling with tears. When they hugged, there was a storm of laughter and shock. The news of the announcement spread very quickly. Within minutes, hashtag Taves Tour became popular all over the world. The music business was shocked. The sports experts couldn't say a word. What about Taylor and Travis? They were thrilled. Just picture arenas full of Swifties and diehard football fans together. There were country songs and exciting touchdown celebrations. It was something the world had never seen before. It was a risk, a crazy, unbelievable plan, but it was the right way to show how their love story was so unique. It was a melody made up of scores and glitter that showed how much they always supported each other's dreams. Travis and Taylor knew they were about to start something truly famous as they heard the roar of the crowd. During the news conference after the game, Travis Kelsey was the center of attention as he adjusted the microphone. It was all about his personal life in the room, even though the Kansas City Chiefs had just won a very exciting game. For months, there were rumors that he was going to propose to his famous girlfriend, Taylor Swift. Travis, a reporter asked, leaving a heavy limb, there have been reports. Keeled got a sly grin on his face. He put out his hand. He boomed, let's wait on football questions for a minute. This made everyone in the room gasp with surprise. Because, Taylor, honey, if you're watching. The room blew up. Cameras went off. Reporters looked at each other with wide eyes. Kelsey went on, this one's for you, his voice getting softer. We recently talked and, well. He stopped to make a point. We're going on tour. The whole room let out a gasp. Tour? Along with Taylor Swift? Was he joking? That's right, Kelsey said with a laugh. The whole Speak Now re-release tour will have me as a special guest. The two of us thought it would be fun to spend time together. The internet went crazy. Worldwide, hashtag Swifty Kelsey became a trend. Experts argued about the arrangements, the show, and the sheer stupidity of it all. Taylor herself shared a single heart eye emoji on social media, which made her fans go crazy. The tour became a big deal. The way Kelsey handled the microphone was surprisingly good. He belted out unexpected harmonies on power songs and made the dance numbers fun to watch. 
The media called it the couple's tour of the century, 